so we're on a, a, a mountain walk today actually our kids play play golf down the bottom so we also do an hour work half an hour up and half an hour down but i just wanted to show you this so over here if you hear me breathing heavy how i'm fit i am is two years ago nearly we had a huge fire on the costa del sol more or less on the 10 year anniversary of the first one in 2012 but this time i mean it took out so much but it took out a lot of the mountain in alarin de la torre our lovely town and a place called Jarapalos and we're right at the back end of Jarapalos near uh, near Arrow Golf and just look at this they're still processing the trees it's absolutely barren up here now and this is the trees that they're processing let's have a walk down um, which have all died and basically they've chopped them down they've piled them all up and uh, and just cutting them into logs, which I'm assuming they'll use for something else. There's actually someone up there in the Peugeot 206 nicking some. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll leave him to it. He's driven a long way in the Peugeot 206 to get up here, I can tell you. He's still alive at the bottom of the mountain. Good luck to him if he's nicking logs. Especially if he's about to chuck 200 kilos worth of log in the back of it. Um, and you can just see the devastation that was caused by the fire. And apparently this fire was caused by someone uh, crashing a motorbike or a misfire on a motorbike or something or just dumping it and it just took out so much I mean, who knows how many animals lost their life um, so many people evacuated the, the, the fire came all the way now we're two kilometers up and it came all the way to the golf course which is two kilometers down there um, to show you the extent and this will take really long. You can see it's uh, it stacks nearly three meters high. And it just goes on and on and on. Doesn't stop. There you go. Wildfires. Uh, there's a lot more. There's a lot. Of good, good job. There's a fire break. So they have these huge. Uh, they're like a hundred meter gaps. Not a hundred meter. No, I won't say they're hundred meters. How big would they be? I've ran up them a few times, at least 30 metre gaps where they get machines just to plough down the middle of the forest and it creates a, a fire break, uh, which means the fire can't jump from one side to the other. Um, this is a massive area for cyclists, walkers, mountain runners. Of course in Alarín de la Torre we've got the half marathon this month. I've done it three times, I'm not fit enough this year, unfortunately, but we're working on that. Um, and it's a brutal race that takes you all the way up into the mountains. Uh, there's like an elevation of nearly 1,500 meters and it's a 25 kilometer race, so over half marathon. Uh, at some points you're on your hands and knees. Um, but it's, I found it brilliant. But it, 25 kilometers, it took me three and a half hours last time I did it. Uh, evidently running at the back of the pack. I'm not one of these mountain goats. I'm more of a mountain hippopotamus. Um, but these, uh, it, look, we carry on going, it's just the extent of the work that's being done by the forestry people here. There's tons and tons of trees. I mean, how many years will it take for this lot to grow back? Um, if it grows back. And if you want to pan round, Lara, I'll just show them that was a forest. And the trees were. There you go. We haven't got the gimbal, so sorry for the camera work. I think Lara's doing a good job there, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, they say you can tell the age of a tree by how many rings it's got in it, don't they? Yeah. One of the bigger ones. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Then one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. A uh, little bit of lip. Let's call that another ten, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, nine. Uh, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, nine, ninety, hundred, 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 now even the smaller ones, the half size ones, what are they, 30 years old? I've never actually researched what type of trees they were as well. I think they're like a pine tree, weren't they? Like an evergreen type thing. I don't know. Maybe someone who knows, who watches the channel, will be able to tell us. 
And then now, if you look here, you see the ones that they haven't cut down yet, which are just completely burnt and dead. Oh look, there's beehives. Oh, oh there we go. We'll have to get the beehives another day, I think. We'll yeah. do a proper beehive. There you go, there's beehives there. They might be helping with pollinating process for new trees. So there we go. Another bit of a different video for the channel. I thought we'd show you this, but if you do come to the Costa del Sol or any part of Spain, you're never too far away from a mountain to go mountain walking. Um, and so it's great. So this walk that we do here from Lauro up to the base of the mountain and back down, it's 2k up um, and then it's 2k down. So it's a lovely, lovely way to break sweat going up and then a nice little relaxing walk or jog down. So anyway, thanks for watching the channel. We're going to carry on our walk back down to uh, Lauro Golf. If you like, please subscribe and uh, give us a comment. If you, if you do do any sports in Spain, there's loads of sports, loads of half marathon, marathons, mountain biking, running. If you've got any hints and tips for websites to find that these races, I've got a couple that we use, but you know, I was speaking to some people who are retiring and one of their goals is to, to still carry on their running. They like doing half marathon, 10 Ks. And I was like, mm, I sent them a couple of websites. They're a bit naff, really, to be honest. So if any of you do live here and you're watching this and you've got any decent websites to grab these events from in Spain, because there seems to be in winter, there seems to be a half marathon or a 10K, especially in Andalusia, every single week. Uh, when we get to the bank holidays, they have the races for the bank holidays as well, where the family can get involved as well. So if you do know these websites more than what I've got, then stick up the channel. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video soon. Uh, there we go, you can see our track back, I thought I'd do a little video coming back, Lara's there in the distance, getting down the hill, but I just wanted to show you this, like, so we have these things like called barrancos, it's where the uh, where the water would run if there was a massive deluge of water, which they're always empty, again the sun's blocking the view a little bit, um, but if you are a bit adventurous, and you don't fancy walking on these nicely prepared roads, um, which are for bikers, uh, for walkers, hikers, but... Initially, I believe they're for emergency services to get up, really. Um, then you can go a bit off-piste if you're a trail runner, maybe a trail biker, and go down in these little barranco things. There you go, look, you can see the pine trees there. I think that's what they are, pine trees. Still burnt. Such a shame. Look. There we go. More pine trees just... And off we go down the hill.